Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. We have a swatching video today. These are the Art in Fly uh, brush markers. Now it's Art, A-R-T, dash, N, dash, F-L-Y. Um, I have five different sets here. No, I did not purchase these all at once. <laughs> um, I bought one, then I bought one, and then I bought these. Kind of wanted to wait until I got everything in because I know when I bought the first one, I would eventually, you know, me complete such a room. Um, I'd eventually want them all. So I've kind of been just putting these on the side till I could buy everything. So we have the original set of 48. So this is their starter set. Then they came out with a booster set. These colors are totally different than these. There are no duplicates. So you have 96 colors. And they came out with these sets of 12. So we do have the skin colors. There are 12 skin colors, 12 pastel colors. And then we do have some cool gray colors. So those of you who do like your gray markers for shading and whatnot, they do have a dedicated gray set. Now, I am not sure, and I didn't do any comparisons ahead of time, um, if any of these colors are repeated in here. I'm assuming some of them will, but I am hoping not all of them are. <laughs> so we shall find out. So I think what we'll do, we'll start at the beginning. We will do the starter set first. We'll go to the booster set and then we will do the 12 sets. So let's take a look at the markers themselves. Like I said, they are brush tips. So we have the brush and chisel nibs. They come in these really heavy duty cardboard cases and they are um, taped shut. I just cut them open. Now somebody was kind enough, a subscriber was kind enough, I think it was a couple years ago, they used to, they discontinued this, unfortunately, but they used to have six packs, six sets um, of specific color families. And I was sent, because she knew I loved purple, um, she sent me the purple set of six, and I loved those markers. I still love those markers. I use them in conjunction with my Copics because you always hear me say Copic needs more purples. <laughs> so yes, these are very, very nice markers um, that I know from that six pack that I got sent. But yeah, they used to have a blue set and green set. Yeah, they discontinued those. So let's take a look at the markers themselves. Isn't that pretty? So We'll take a look at this one. Let's zoom in a little. So as you can see, they have a white barrel. They are hexagon um, in shape. So they are actually quite comfortable because your thumb fits on a flat end and then your finger fits on the flat edge. So it's very comfortable to uh, color with. You will see the end caps are the color that is in the marker. On one end, it indicates chisel and then brush. Now, if you don't want to look at this, and sometimes it's a pain to have to find where that is on here, you'll notice this is real tight together for the chisel end. The brush end has this noticeable gap in here. So if you're not on this side where it indicates what is what, you can look at where that gap is and you know that's the brush tip. So the brush tip is like this. And these are the nice, um, they're not the felt tips that have a tendency to fray quickly. These are those, what are they made out of? They're rubber Nah, not rubber, but they are, you know, the, the spongier kind, just like the Copic tips. They last a lot longer. Yeah, these are the nice Japanese nibs. These are a little bit more expensive than your real budget-friendly 
markers, but number one, it is because of this nicer tip. And these are refillable, and you can get replacement nibs. So, yes, that is why they are a little bit higher than your standard real budget-friendly markers. And then we have our standard chisel tip. On each end of the marker, you have the color code. So this one is 64B, or I would say B64. When I do my color chart, I'm probably going to put the alphanumeric character before that. Because then you know what color family immediately it is coming from. So again, B64, B64. The particular color is not indicated on the barrel, um, like most markers. Uh, I think Cali Arts are the one that come to mind where there is a silver um, sticker on that does indicate the color. That's kind of nice if you're flipping back and forth between the chisel and the brush and you happen to have both caps off. Yeah, if you have a number of uh, markers open at the same time, if it's not indicated on the barrel, you might have a hard time uh, telling what marker is what, especially if you have two markers out that are very similar in color. So it is kind of always nice when they have the, the color name or symbol on the barrel, but most markers don't, so that's not a biggie. So they have their, their name on here. All right, so again, we're going to do some swatching. So we will start with this starter set. I do have my preliminary uh, color charts out. Now, when I do the finished color chart, of course, I am going to combine all the sets together. Let me get a sheet of cardstock under here. We are going to start with the brush markers, and this is just the original set. Um, as usual, I am going to start with the yellows. And let me grab my pen. All right, so um, let me see on the case itself. On, wow, let's zoom out. On this particular case, we do have all the colors listed on the back, same with the booster. And then the 12 packs, it is on the back of the lid. So this is on the back of the base, 12 packs are on the back of the lids. No, oh, it says on here you can get a free art tutorial. Just scan the QR code. In interesting. They are on Instagram at Art and Fly. Okay. All right, let's start. So it looks like there are no color names, just your um, color code. So here we have Y164. So I won't be needing this column when I complete this chart. So I'm going to use that particular column right now to color in. So we have Y164. And again, we can look at that gap, see which is the brush end. And I just love the feel of this brush. These are so nice and juicy. We have Y45. And with having them um, the shape that they are, they don't have a tendency of rolling off your desk as easy. Let's see. Nice sunny yellow. We have a Y231. Should go a little bit faster without having uh, color names to jot down. Little bit of a darker yellow. Oh, in here it looks like we do have a color chart also that you can uh, complete. I like creating my own color charts, of course, and I um, always print them out on cardstock. Uh, so, yeah, but these are kind of handy. Um, if you do, especially you only have one set, you can keep it right in the case with them. Good to know. 
Okay, so this one is Y34. And we kind of have a yellow orange. Y233. And I am assuming there's no rhyme or reason probably to this code. <laughs> usually isn't. So we have a lighter orange. Of course the alphanumeric characters refer to the color family, but I'm assuming this number doesn't really refer to anything in particular. YR23. A little bit of a darker orange. All right, this looks like a red-orange uh, R14. Yep. And let's try this one, R239. Ooh, that's a nice red. This one, I'm not sure if it's going to be more pink. It's R5. So it must be a red. Oh, yeah. A little bit darker. And we have R12. So a little bit lighter than that one. A little bit of an orange in that. This looks like your real standard red. That one has just a little bit of pink in it. And it looks like we have a dark red. R2. So this starter kit kind of covered all the bases so far. Let's go into the pinks. So we have R28, or, yeah, this kind of looks like a skin tone. Yeah, we'll go through all of these. Well, here is a Y, or this is a skin tone. Let's do this first. YR25. Doesn't look like there's a lot of skin tones in here. So I'm hoping that 12 set of skin tones will be different than what's in here in the booster set. Fingers crossed, but that is a nice skin tone. Well, then we'll do this pink R28. Because it looks like that's the only skin tone in here. So a nice light pink. RP9, so it sounds like it's a red purple. So I am sure these are not going to be in the right order, of course. Ooh, kind of a bright pink. RP17, red purple, I am assuming. And R136. So I'm not sure if this is going to be a paler one again. A little bit. And this looks like uh, we're starting to get a little bit on the purple side. RP198. Not really. It's really on the reddish pink side. Okay, so let me move these up so I have room for the others. So now we're going to go on to the purples. We have a PB77, so 
I'm assuming purple blue or a blue violet. <laughs> PB77. Ooh, that's pretty. They're not quite as juicy as I thought they were going to be. I mean, they're nice, but I thought they would be a little bit juicier. P85. I love the fact there are refills, though. Oh, that's pretty. And it could be that I'm just coloring this on printer paper. That makes, you know, your paper makes all the difference in the world. P82. When I do my uh, final color chart on cardstock, it could be totally different. Oh, that's gorgeous. You know, me and my purples. All right, then we go on to the blues. So here we have a real pale blue. B182. So it's maybe a little bit of a longer video because we have quite a few to swatch. Oh, that's nice. It's always nice to have your real pale pastel blue. So we'll see if that one's going to be in the pastel set. BG178. So we have some blue greens. I'm assuming an aqua color. Oh, that's really pale too. It's not really aqua at all though. It's different than this, but it's, you know, to me it doesn't look aqua at all. B67. See, now that has an aqua tone to it, but yet it's not a BG. So I wouldn't necessarily go by the color family names. That's why it pays to make a color chart. <laughs> B66. This is where it's nice that they have the alphanumeric down here, because otherwise you wouldn't know if that's 66 or 99. So yeah, having that down there rather than just a number very nice. Very helpful. B66. Another one on the aqua side. This one definitely, as you can see, has more green in it than the 66. Right, let's come up here. We have a few more uh, blues. Now, why this is an R is beyond me. Oh, I think the bottom of it just isn't showing. So I'm going to say B. It definitely looks like an R. Do you see that? But I think the bottom of the B, let me see this. Well, I don't know. It does look like an R. Is that showing up on camera? Yeah. It definitely looks like an R. Huh. I guess I'm going to put R216. Definitely think that's misnamed. Because if I'm looking for this particular marker, I am definitely going to be looking for R216 and not B. So I guess that's what we'll put down. It has nothing to do with a red, but it's a very pretty color. I guess I don't really care what it's called as long as I have my color chart. <laughs> so here is the B64. Oh, that's so pretty. This is like that cerulean blue. It's one of my favorite blues. Then we get into some regular blues. PB74. Oh, love that too. It's like a corn flower blue. This one looks kind of similar, but looks like it'll be a little darker. PB72. Yep. Kind of similar, but again, this one is a little darker. All right. We are through the blues. So let's go on to the greens. G-1-1-1. 
GY167. So a nice pale yellow green. GY59. GY226. Now this looks like it'll be on the olive side. We'll see. Of course our color caps are not always real representative of what's inside. These haven't been too bad though. That's pretty close. We have a darker one. NY. Now what is NY? One moment. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure what NY stands for. You would think this would be another GY. But whatever. We shall put NY229. I'm sure there must be some meaning behind it. Oh, it's pretty though. All right. And then... What looks to be maybe a, just a standard green, G55. I oh know, it's kind of dark. I hope we have a regular green in that booster then. Because then the last green is GY47, which looks like a darker kind of olive green. Yeah. Yeah, but not a regular green in here yet. So I am assuming one of these sets should have a regular green. <laughs> Let's go into the earth tones. Hopefully we have some good browns. We have BR237. Looks like a nice tan. Don't always get a nice light brown. So yeah. And, oh, here's another. I knew I'd miss something somewhere. Oh, it is a brown, though. I thought this was olive green. BR100. Oh, it's quite a bit darker than what I thought. That one does not match the cap. <laughs> uh, we have BR95. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. The browns with, you know, just a hint of red in it. Be gorgeous for hair. BR97. Kind of similar, but a different undertone. This has that yellowish, reddish undertone where this one doesn't. BR93. Darker. Running out of room over here. Here's another one with an R. R242. Unless this really has a red undertone, but it still should be a brown. Yeah, it's a dark brown. So it probably should be BR maybe. Not sure. Yeah, not sure about these color numbers. <laughs> All right, so let's go to the grays. Mm, not sure. This should probably go with the blues. Um, blue green or it could be blue gray. Who knows? BG225. I'm assuming it should go with the blues. It's Probably like a lighter aqua. Missed that one. BG225. Oh, it is a 
pale green. Wow. Totally different. I don't know if I've ever seen a cap in ink that different. Holy cow. So definitely not blue. So cap is wrong. Color name is wrong. <laughs> Funny. Again, reason to have color charts. All right. We do have warm gray. Warm gray. Don't want to write with that. Warm gray 0 0.5. So our very pale warm gray. I'm assuming there's probably going to be a lot of warm grays in these sets. Hence the uh, separate set of 12 for cool grays. I know. Never assume. So nice pale warm gray. And we have a warm gray 6. So a nice darker warm gray. We have a green gray to 10. Definitely uh, different. That's almost like a real pale tan, isn't it? I mean, it's a nice color. That would be great to have with the browns. Uh, we have blue-gray, BG1. Oh, that's pretty. That would be great for shading even like snow and, you know, things like that. BG9. And finally, our black 120. And then you do get a colorless blender. It's a nice black, black. So then, yes, you get your zero, which is your colorless blender. All right, I am going to pause. Now, inside these, you do get... They are just plastic, kind of light plastic, um, but you do get inserts here to put your markers back in. So I'm going to pause here. I'm going to put all the markers back in here in the order in which I swatched them. So it'll make it a little bit easier when I'm going through and making my final color chart. So one moment, please. Let me zoom back out so I'm not totally zoomed in when I start back <laughs> okay just a minute all right let's go on to switching switching <laughs> swatching the booster set again 48 colors in this set this is the front of the box and again on the back of the box we have all of the colors included in this set oh there's a lot of greens in here so Hopefully, we will get a regular green. Looks like we have some more pinks, a couple more purples, some more reds, blues. And we do get a couple more browns and some more grays. So, again, I'll go from yellow and on. All right, so let me get the next color chart out. So, again... This I have marked as the booster set. Zoom you guys back in. And let's get on with it. So first up, we have a paler yellow, Y38. Let's see if we get any funny names in this set. Otherwise, of course, the markers themselves are identical. That's a beautiful pale yellow. Oh, here looks to be kind of a bright yellow, but who knows? Y37. After that, that one, boy. Woo! All right. It should have been like a blue, and it was totally green. Nice, sunny, bright yellow. 
Y44. And like I said, all these colors are different than the first set. So we'll see if the colors themselves are truly different. A little bit darker. We have what looks to be on the orange side, Y232. Okay, kind of like a yellow ochre, isn't it? And we do have some more oranges in here too. We have YR24. Okay, similar, a little bit different, but boy, those are very similar. Mm. Cases like this where I wish they would, I, I know they're a little bit different, but I wish they would just go with a total separate color. BR, you would think it would be like an RO red orange or something. BR234, again. Do not understand their color families that they are putting on these. Nice orange. We have R22. <coughs> A little more on the red side. A little bit. Um, we have, okay, we do have another color chart here. R16. Now, they don't have color names on here, do they? No, they just have, and they don't even have the color family uh, letter on here. Just the numbers. Interesting. We have R16. I think it would be nice to have the, if you're going to use that included color chart. Yeah, let's actually try a chisel. Oh yeah, those are nice. So that's pretty. Um, be nice if they included the letter in front because then it could give you a good idea of where it is in your set. Like if it's R7, you know it's a red. Of course, not all of them pertain to their particular color, do they? We have found that out. Uh, R13. Like an R for a brown. And looks like we're getting into some more reds that may be on the pink side. R10. Oh, this is a nice red. A little bit darker than your standard red, but very pretty. It's kind of like a blood red, isn't it? R15. Now that's your standard red. Primary color. Again, we have some darker reds, R3. And our darkest is R241. That's a nice deep like wine color. Okay, so that is all of the reds, I think, unless I miss something. So we do have a few additional pinks in here. We have RP7. Ooh, that's bright. <laughs> we have P88. Oh, that's pretty. Love that pink. The caps really do snap on and off nice. You hear that nice click, but yet they're not hard. 
to get on and off. They're pretty easy. F. <laughs> F. Again, unless it's missing some ink, and that should be a P, but it definitely says F. F. 126. What is your reasoning, Art and Fly? Do not understand. Oh, that's a pretty pink, too. And RP86, one that makes sense. Oops, 86, not 186. Oh, pretty. Pretty. All right, we do have a couple of purples in here. P83 looks to be a nice pastel purple, but we shall see. A little bit darker than I thought, but it's very pretty. P145. Oh, that's pretty. So you can definitely see one's more on the lavender side, one's more on the lilac side, I guess. We do have kind of a pinkish purple, P85. Now you never know if that's purple or pink. <laughs> oh, nice deep purple. That's gorgeous. All right. Let's see. Well, I think this may be on the purple side. PB73. Looks to be another dark purple. Yes. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to be on the purple side or blue side. It looks purple from the cap. B218. Definitely a blue violet. I'm not sure if I would put it, in, probably put it in with the blues, yeah. So we do have some additional blues. B144. This one, the cap came off relatively easy, but it seems to be okay. Oh, okay, maybe I just had it off. <laughs> we have PB183. Oh, pretty. Let's move up to the other column. B215. Okay, darker version of the previous color. PB70. That's a nice dark midnight blue. Don't have a nice dark denim blue yet though. PB71. Then on to the greens. Oh, that's gorgeous. Wow. Okay, greens. We have some, we have a lot of greens in here, like I said. GY 166. Nice, pale, pale green. This one. Well, let's go on to this one now. This is F, so I don't know if it means fluorescent. Who knows? F124 looks to be just like, you know, a yellow green. Yeah, nice pale yellow green. That's pretty. Let's go with this one. GY48. Crazy names they gave these. Or numbers, I should say. 
And let's stay with that color family. GY222. Okay. Now we go on the mint green side of things. GY172. So it's definitely not on the yellow side. At least not according to the cap. GY 172. Yeah, that is pretty. <clears throat> Looks like we ha are going to have a really nice succession of these tones. G58. Of course, yeah, I'm just going to the color on the caps. So we shall see. Gorgeous. Then a little bit darker, BG61. Oh, love it. And B62. Oh, that is so gorgeous. So look at these four together. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> A couple of additional greens then. BG52. I'm hoping this is going to be a standard green, a primary color. 52. Because remember in the other set, we didn't get just a standard primary color green. No, this is a very dark forest green. Interesting. NY. 230. New York? <laughs> NY 230. Okay. Very similar, but a little more yellow. Let's see. A couple more. And then we have some browns. GY223. I don't know if this is going to be more on the brown side or the green side. Definitely green side. Again, very similar. A little bit lighter. Finally, GY224. A nice darker one. So yeah, these go together very nice. This, this, and then this. Okay, markers, move out of my way. Just a few browns. Now, this one is Y42. Again, not sure if it's going to be a brown. Almost looks like it, doesn't it? So let's go with this light tan. BR104. Now the other tan was very much on the yellow side, so it would be nice if this one isn't. Yes, it is. And it is darker, though, than our previous one. Because if you remember uh, this here one, so very, it's almost like an olive green, you know. A little bit more on the brown side than an olive green, but you can tell there's a little bit of brown in there, too. Then we have this Y42, so I don't know if it's going to be yellow or not. Your guess is as good as mine. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> Definitely up in here. Yeah. Okay. Here we have a Y169. Oh my gosh. Boy, for a Budget friendly, but a little more expensive set of markers. These, I don't know, these color numbers. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. Very much on the yellow side, though. Not really an earth tone. Sort of, kind of, kind of, sort of. All right, another Y41. Not quite sure where I would put that one. But it goes very nicely with this. So I think I would leave them in the browns. Then we have a 
couple left. Uh, YR21. A couple more browns, I should say. That's pretty. Red brown. This one looks like it may be on the red side. Also, we have BR94. Pretty. Now, there is no black and no colorless blender. So, that is very nice. So many times you get these different sets for the same brand of markers and you get a colorless blender in every single set and it's like why <laughs> so we do have another warm gray so we do not have any cool grays yet so again that must be why they have that separate set of cool grays so maybe those are not going to be duplicates wg4 and i am out of range here okay all right, another nice warm gray, and we have WG7. So we're getting into the real dark warm grays. So these grays are very nice. And then we do have a green gray, 214. All right, so again, I'm going to pause and I'm going to get these all back in the case in this order. We're going to get out those sets of 12 and we're going to swatch each marker. I think I'll pause after that. I'm going to go through all the sets. I'm going to see if there are any duplicates in those sets of 12. If there are, I'll indicate what set the duplicate came from if that makes any sense. So again, I will be right back. All right, so let's swatch these sets of 12s. What shall we do first? Let's do the skin tones because I'm really curious about those. And then we'll do the pastels. We'll save the grays for last. Oh no, let's do the pastels, I guess, first. <laughs> That's what I uh, did for the color chart. All right, so again, sets of 12. They all do come in these nice cardboard boxes, but of course, when I combine these all together, I'll put them all in a marker case on the cap. Again, on the back of the box, we do have the colors. So it does look like we have a range of different colors. Yellows, doesn't, or a yellow. No orange pastels. Looks like we have some violets. A red, another gray. Here is a cool gray one. So we'll see if that's going to be in the cool gray set. Some greens and blues. Hmm, maybe this will be a standard green. Why in the past? All said I don't know, but oh, they are pretty though, aren't they? <laughs> we all love our pastels. Now this is BR109, but it really looks like it's on the yellow side. I think I'm going to do that one first because can't go by the name, can we? So let's do that first. Ooh, these are in here snug. Now these, yeah, these do not have the plastic inserts either. So let me zoom you back in. Okay, so we have BR109. This long swatching videos for those of you who like the swatching videos. Yes, that's a nice pastel yellow. And this looks like it may be a pastel orange. Y36. But we shall see. Ooh, it is a pastel orange. Nice. Now this says BR, but could be a orange. BR 107. This could also be a darker yellow, right? 
all depends upon how your eye looks at it. Now this one, the tip, sometimes on your alcohol markers, you're going to notice you get this growth on them. And uh, yeah, this one has that. Hmm, I wonder if the set was sitting on the shelves for a bit. I mean, it doesn't hurt anything, but you're going to want to clean that off. Yeah, see, it does come right off, but looks really yucky. <laughs> so, it is a kind of another, well, I guess it is, you know, it does have a hint of brown to it. It's a really light tan. So, I guess it is. We have R139. I guess they knew what they were saying when they said BR. Okay, that's a pink. We do have another R here, 135, because of course pastel red is pink, right? R135. Again, not too pastel. Um, we do have one purple. Now we did have some pastel purples in the other, so we'll see. Um, this could be more on the pink side. P146. Oh, woohoo! Again, look at the difference. Whew. Unreal. All right, we do have a few blues in here. BG-179. Like I said, they're still really good markers. It's just their naming and not matching the tips at all. Very much on the green side. B-143. Very pale blue. That's pretty. And a darker blue. PB76. And like I said, it could possibly be in the other two sets. Oh, that's pretty. So we do have a nice pastel blue. A couple of greens. GY166. Pretty yellow green. GY173. Much more on the yellow side. And finally, one gray. Like I said, cool gray one. All right going to pause once more. Oh, you do get a color chart in here if it uh, wants to make an appearance. Now on this one, it does have the beginning letters. Isn't that strange? Okay, so, well, because I don't have many, let me not pause and I'll just stick these back in here quick. Shouldn't take too long. And we will get out the skin tones. Alright. So, ooh, them look nice. Again, we shall see. <laughs> let's start with, yeah, let's start with, see, this is another BR. So maybe it will be on the brown side. So let's start with this yellow. Y141. Ooh, it is a skin tone, but definitely not yellow. Again, does not match whatsoever. <laughs> uh, 
we have YR29. Guess I don't care what they're called or what the cap looks like. I care what the ink gives. <laughs> Very much on the pink side, but that could be really nice for blush. YR26. Or even for lips. Now that's a nice skin tone. Be nice if they'd have one maybe even lighter though. I don't think there is. YR142. Again, hard to say with the, this. That's a nice skin tone on the yellow side. Uh, here are some pinks. YR27. Maybe. <laughs> yes. That would be pretty for lips. Another pink, R131. So we do have a couple of pretty pinks. Then it looks like we start getting into some darker skin tones, although this one probably not. BR134, again, who knows? <laughs> Very pale. Nice shading color though. Let's see. BR101. Imagine how long this uh, swatching video would be if I had to write down color names. <laughs> so much darker brown. YR132. Oh, very, very pale. It's nice to have those. YR31. Very much on the warm side. BR236. Just a shade darker. One's a little dirty. Mm -hmm. And BR96. Again, nice that they don't include colorless blender in all of these sets. That would really stink. Nice dark brown. All right, let's let's put these back in, and we will finally get to the cool grays. So far, I am really liking the brush nibs. Like I said, as long as you make a color chart, you should be okay. <laughs> okay, gray tones. Ooh, pretty. So, it does say cool grays. So, we do have CGs. We do have some green grays in here and blue grays. Mostly CGs, though. So let's start with the CGs. So we do have the 0 0.5. So cool gray, 0 0.5. Now in the other set, we did have the cool gray one. And no, it is not in here. So it is not duplicated. So our nice pale cool gray. So then we have cool gray two. And let's see, where 
these are the cool grays. We have cool gray six, seven, eight, nine. Cool gray six. So they did skip a couple. We don't have three, four, or five. Which kind of be nice to have something in between, right? Because now we're just going to get into the real dark. Nope, that's a green gray. So they are kind of skipping, which is okay when you get up into the higher ones. CG8. Because these get pretty dark. Like the CG9 is typically real close to black. CG9. Okay, then let's get on to the green grays here again. We do have another color chart, and it does have the letters on that one also. So we do have a green gray one. There's quite a few uh, green grays and yeah, blue grays. So CG1. And green, green, no, not CG, GG. And GG3. GG5 and then GG7. So they are going, you know, every other number. Same with the blue grays. We'll have three, five, seven. GG five. Does not look like a green gray though. It looks like a cool gray, doesn't it? And GG seven. Now that is a green gray. Does that other one say GG? Yeah, it does. Okay, then the blue grays. Finally, we do have BG3. And then, should have just done this, five and seven. Definitely blue gray. And last but not least is blue gray seven. All right, get these back in here, and then I am going to pause for a bit for you. It'll just be a second for me. I am going to go through all of these. I want to see if there are duplicates. Like I said, I am assuming there will be some. Hopefully not, but I'm kind of thinking there might be. It would be awesome if there wasn't. Boy, these fit back in these cases really tight because of the shape of these. I'm going to leave i got the other ones all in. It's just this one that I'm having problems with. You have to put the hexagon in just the right. Okay, well, we'll leave that for now. I have no problem with that one. Okay, so I'm going to pause again. I am going to go through these color charts, see if we have duplicates. Let me zoom you back out again. Okay, so again, I'll be right back. Well, that was awesome news. Quickly went through all of these colors and compare them to the starter set and the booster set I had one duplicate one why this one's duplicated I don't know GY 166 which is in the booster set other than that all the skin tones are new all the grays are new and the whole entire rest of the pastel set is new so only one duplicate between all the sets. That is awesome. 
Now, at the very beginning, I did say that these are refillable. You can go to the Art and Fly website. I did go and I purchased a few of the refills. I wanted to get a refill in each or a lot, a few of the color families. So they come in these little boxes. So I did get one in the yellows. I did get Y231. Um, I did get, uh, I think it's a purple blue, 183. I got a blue, 64, a green, 55, and a brown, 93. So let's look at one of these refills. Now, each of these refills were $4.95, but they refill one of the markers 15 times or up to 15 times, I guess, depending on how empty it is. So let's see what these look like. Quite a bit different than any other refill. You know, very different than the Copic refills. Now, the Copic refills are like twice as expensive as these because... If you're familiar with Copics whatsoever, they came out with a whole new redesigned refill. Kept the price the same, but <laughs> half the amount of ink. Yeah, so essentially they doubled their price. Yeah. Um, I think the Spectrum Noir refills were also very similar in price. And they probably hold about the same as these. Um, does it say doesn't say how much is in here ounce wise or grams or however but this is what each of the refills look like imagine you can go on the website and see how to refill them looks very self-explanatory to me never remove your brush tip on a marker <laughs> they are fragile always remove the chisel tip um, I love using, I have a Copic tweezers. They're really nice because they have some teeth on them. So they pull out the nib really nice. Um, I am going to link all of these sets down in the description below. I bought them all on Amazon. I believe they would be available over on Art and Fly's website also. Um, I will link to where the booster or the boosters to... Um, to where the refills are available over on the Art and Fly website. Ugh, excuse me, swallowed the wrong way. Um, yeah, these are available on the Art and Fly website. The only problem is when I was looking through and looking at the colors on the back of the box, there were a few colors I wanted. They're not all available. Not a refill is available for all the colors so I'm not sure why um, but looks like you know you'll take your chisel tip out I'll link that Copic tweezers down below too because it works so good <laughs> I use it all the time looks like you would twist this off and watch I'll get ink all over or maybe you just yeah you just pull it out okay then I would almost think you could use this, but looks like you should just insert this. Might be more accurate, you know, by using this. You do get one of these for each of your refills, though, which is kind of nice. And then you just put the cap back on. Okay. So, yeah, I don't know if it would... You, it, might be a good idea, I guess, just to leave your refills in the box, seeing as how you have one of these for each one. Unless, like I said, I, of course, did not refill one yet. I'm not sure if you could just drip ink from this. I would almost think so, because that's a very tiny tip. But maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Um, depends upon... If it's similar to the opening on a Copic, once you pull the chisel tip out, might be large enough to, you know, use that. I suppose using this, you can get down into the barrel of the marker better. I don't know. I'll try it both ways, I guess. 
and see. Otherwise, if I don't have to use these, now how marked? Where where are these bottles marked? Oh yeah, clearly right on the front with a sticker. So they correspond to the box, of course. So, yeah, I'll leave links to everything down below, like I said, as well as that Copic tweezers. That comes in handy for refilling any of your alcohol markers. And, of course, you can use any kind of alcohol marker refill for your real budget-friendly markers, too. I refill my Ohuhu brush markers all the time with my Copic ink. Um, could use this. Whatever is close enough, you know, closest to that particular color. So if you have, say, the Cali Arts or any of those other real budget-friendly markers, you can refill them. <laughs> you can. They may say you can't just to get you to rebuy a whole new set when you run out of one marker, but yes, they are refillable. So let's zoom back out. All right, so there you have it. We have some refills here. I did not get um, the replacement nibs. I figure I shouldn't need any for a while. Of course, I shouldn't need refills either for a while, but I wanted to show you what, what they were going to look like. So we have our grays, which like I said, I gotta get back in here. We have our skin tones. We have our pastels. And then we have the booster set and your starter set. So nice to know there are no repeats other than that one. I really thought we were going to have more repeats, especially with the, the skin tones and the pastels. Um, but we don't. That is awesome. So there you have it, folks. I hope you enjoyed this rather long swatching video. Um, if you did, please hit that thumbs up button. It really does help the channel out. And uh, subscribe if you are not already subscribed to the channel. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. And as always, happy coloring. Bye, guys. Thank you.